Okay, you guys, so let's get into my fitness pal. So let's start learning how to use this app. It's awesome. Here it is in my my fit my my phone. Please excuse the cracked screen. I really need a new phone, obviously. So here's my fitness pal. I'm gonna click it, and as you can see, um, the app is up. And you see here, it's got this My Fitness Pal Under Armour emblem. Well, um, that's an easy way for you to be able to find it. If you see that Under Armour emblem, you'll be right where you need to be in the App Store. Okay, so here we are in my home screen. What I'm gonna do is go here to Diary. And if you have an Android phone, it might be in a different area. I think it's usually here in this top left-hand corner. Um, but here in an iPhone, it's at the bottom. So um, what I'm going to do is just go through my diary and add food. Well, maybe I didn't add breakfast earlier. So let me add breakfast. I'm going to press add food. And then it's going to pull up to search for food, if you can see that. Search for food is super easy to use because it's basically a food Google. So what you're gonna do is search, I don't know, egg. Oh, it's so hard to do this through my camera. Okay, egg. So I'm searching and there we go, it pulls up an egg. So I'm just gonna click it and what's so awesome is that it's going to give me the nutrition label for the egg. So it's awesome. It's got the calories, it's got all the nutrition contents. So one egg has got 0.4 carbs, zero fiber. So we've got 0.4 carbs in an egg and uh, that's 100% doable. You can totally have that within your carb goal. So I'm just gonna check it and say, okay, that's what I had and it's gonna take me back to my diary. So throughout the day, you just add in breakfast, you add in lunch, you add in dinner, any snacks you may have. I like to put my any extra drinks I have in my snacks. And then you just scroll to the bottom throughout the day. I always do this throughout the day so I can be able to make sure that I'm staying with my carb goal. So what I'll do is click nutrition. And normally, it brings you over here to oh, calories. And um, so what you have to do is scooch over to the middle where it says nutrients and you've got a nutrition label for the day you guys This is awesome. So it's got 33 grams of carbs so far. I have 13 fibers So I'm doing pretty darn good. I've got 20 grams of net carbs for my day um, Proteins look good fat looks good. Everything looks great. It actually even has cholesterol sodium potassium um, some of these vitamins down here and so you just check this throughout the day so like for example if i was eating breakfast i would be like okay i'm gonna have this and then i'm gonna do this for lunch and then i'm like oh wait my friend just told me that she wants to go to a movie well i know every time i go to the movies i really want popcorn so i'm just gonna search i'm curious how many carbs does a small popcorn have Oh, look at that. I've already searched it before, but I'm going to research it again because I want you guys to see it. So small popcorn. Okay. Um, movie theater popcorn, small. Okay. That's it. Let's see how many carbs it has. So it's got 40 grams of carbohydrates and six grams of fiber. So we've got 34 grams of net carbs total, and that's for a whole small theater popcorn. Uh, I think that's doable because I have done pretty good with my carbs today and um, so I'm having it I'm going for it and then I'm gonna just scroll and see how many carbs have I had so far if I eat that so then you just look and now I'm at 73 grams of carbs and 19 grams of fiber which is gonna be about 54 grams of net carbs and you know, I think that's within my window So and if it's not then maybe don't have something else Maybe eat only half of the movie theater popcorn and maybe you don't even eat that much But sometimes it's just nice to not say no to where you're like I am gonna eat that so um, Anyway, but this is the app and here in the more section you're gonna find so many cool so much cool stuff you can set macronutrient goals, your goal weight, you can set all of this stuff. Ah. Ah. Okay, and then you can actually make recipes. And this is what I use to make my recipes for you guys. So I've got all of these recipes here. You can just click create a recipe and you're just gonna enter the nutritional content and that's it. So um, that's all, that's all I wanted to show y'all, just how to use the app.
It's super easy, it's super fun, and I love it. So I hope you guys really love it too. Um, that's it. That's how we do tracking in MyFitnessPal.